Yes, Yes, Elliot. So, Sin City, um, this is a production that uh, everybody is looking forward mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. and uh, we are glad that you're part of the cast. Right. But I hear that you, you, you only select, you're very, very selective when it comes to. Um, yes, as an actor, uh, you know your strengths and you know your, your, your craft. It's not every script that you accept. Yes, you have to go through it. You have to know the ones that you can actually portray because we are trying to let people believe that we are the actual characters. So I cannot pick up something that I don't know how to do. I can learn it if I have ample time, but for me, I have to pick. So in this one, what, what, what role are you playing? I play a lawyer. I work with the, the husband of Yvonne as a, in a law firm. So we, we're partners, we're colleagues at work, yeah. And the reason I ask that question is because I've heard people say, so, oh, Nihon Nebono. You know, that's what they say. That's why he said, let's, you know, a lot of, you know, decides who he wants to work with and all that. It's not that you cannot play the role. It's not that you cannot, uh, but they just say, you know, umpeni pa Well, those people saying that, I don't think they know me then. Because if you can remember, I think about a year or two ago, I got a role to play an insane guy. I was a madman, yeah, the hero, which is yet to come out. And, I mean, that role is way so demeaning in society. Because if you're crazy, you look a certain way and all of that. Um, I don't think that's what it is. I'm, I'm just, I, just, I just know what I can deliver. I just know what I can give. So I wouldn't take anything that comes to my table. So all those who think, well, you don't know me. You have to get to know me then. You have to get to know you. But with this production, uh, it looks like, um, and there are many other productions we are seeing, it looks like something different is happening from yeah. the narrative that we used to hear that, yeah. oh, the movie industry is dead, blah, 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 blah. What is your take on the state of uh, the Ghanaian movie industry? Well, we are struggling. It's not dead. When you say it's dead, that means that there's no resurrection for it. I mean, there's productions, there's less productions, but there are also people who are very passionate to the industry, who are using their own pocket money to, you know, to keep the industry alive. I'll, I'll mention Kobe Rana 1, I'll mention Yvonne Nelson, I'll go for Kafui Danku, and a host of others, you know. It's, it's almost like we need investors into the, into the industry. So when people tout, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. It's not dead, we're struggling, yes. But uh, it, it only takes some time for us to start putting things across our shores so that investors can come in and start working with us. You believe that there's going to be a time where we would, we would get back to you know, our past glory and have production you know, going on back and forth and all that? Yes, that's why I said uh, we need to create room for investors to come in. You know? how, how are we going to do that? We've been well, doing this for quite a while. Right, well, that, that's it. Because if you watch some time back, um, the Ghanaian movie industry and the Nigerian movie industry, we were right on top. But this is what the Nigerians did. They came here, they poached our people, took them to Nigeria and expanded their market. Fine, Nigeria is huge. Okay? But Ghana, we started everything. Music to movies. We used to be on top. So when I say we need to open up for investors to come in, we need the assistance or, no, or the assistance of, of some of the big bodies in the country. I mean we have the tourism, we have the Creative Arts Fund or whatever they want, they want to call it. You need to come and sit with us, the, the, the stakeholders, people like Yvonne, Ajete, Mark Brown. We've been to places, we've seen people, we know what people expect of us. So when you come in, we can create a nice pool of, of uh, well, I don't know what to say, ideas and whatever. So we can bang our heads together, outsource from investors, and then they can put us on the map. Because now you have Korean, Korean uh, what do you call it, Korean soaps and uh, all these Asian soaps flooding our TV screens. And I think our, the Ghanaian culture too is so bad that we tend to forget our own and watch other people's. If we don't patronize our who's going to patronize it? So don't sit home and say it's dead. We are working, but are you watching? That's the question. Well, I, I, do you think that the authorities are doing what it takes? You know, I was speaking to Yvonne about how people are complaining that the priorities have not been set right. You know, rather than invest in all that, they're doing tourism ambassadors, they're doing blah, blah, blah. Do you think that they, they actually have the priorities set right to promote the industry? Well, I heard about the whole um, uh, ambassadors, there was like 22 of them, 50, 40, 50 of them, they're not doing anything, they're just sitting, Yvonne is one of them, and I, I keep telling her, like you brother just sitting like sitting ducks, what are you doing? Like as ambassadors, either tourism or whatever it is, you need to be doing stuff, you need to be going in with your own ideas, talk to the, you know, the, the big people in there, see what works well for our tourism, at least when you have tourists coming to the country, they get to meet you, they get to watch your movies, and then they can go back with fresh memories of what they came to see in the country. But I think it's just a waste of time. I think they just put that out in the papers for us to see that, okay, I have this, this, this. And half the people, I don't even know them. What are they doing? Like, I, I don't want to mention names, but I'm sorry. They need to scrap it. They need to scrap it and get other people on there who are very focused and visioned and want to take the country to the map. 
I don't know if the Minister of Tourism is going to watch this, but honestly, you need to you need to take a rethink. And and Charlie, yeah, yeah mm -mm. it's not working. It's not working. You know when that issue comes up, people say that it's because the people who are vocal about it were not selected, and they were not made ambassadors, so it's my, uh, they are not happy and they are bitter. They were not called, they made ambassadors and all that. Okay, so they called certain people. Like I said, Yvonne was one of them. I don't know if Ajete was one of them. I think John was one of them. D Black and all these people. These guys. I, we all know them. They are very well known. You know, when you go on social media, you hear one or two things about them. So why not focus on these people and push the agenda through them? When you make it a big pool, everybody has their own ideas. Everybody is it's just going to be mayhem. I believe that, uh, watch the figures, because we have the figures in terms of followers and social media presence. Then the tourism has the money. Now, how do we turn that figures into money? And how are they going to turn their money into figures? You know what I mean? So it's, it's a give and take affair. We need to be together. We don't just come on TV or put in the papers that, okay, we have ambassadors and we're all sitting ducks. Priorities gone wrong. Thank you very much. And we look forward to 14. Yes. Will you be here? Yeah. You're looking lovely, so. Thank you.